Hey guys, um, try and figure this problem out. I'm gonna start solving it now. Um, it's a pretty simple problem, but it, it could potentially be on the exam. Uh, in order to solve this problem, you need to know what a Fibonacci sequence is. A Fibonacci sequence, um, maybe I'll write this, make it more clear. Fibonacci takes the previous um, takes the sum of the previous two values as the current value. That's like the most mathy way I could write it. Um, all that really says is you'll take F0 and F1 and that'll give you F2. So F0 was clearly negative 2 to get you this uh, 2 here, right? Then you can take F1 and F2 to get you F3, and F2 and F3 to get you F4, and then, and then so on. That's how the Fibonacci function works. So we want F5. So to get F5, we need all the previous values, so we need F3. That's the next in line. Well, F3 is just F1 plus F2, which is equal to 4. I'm just taking the values, plus 2 which is equal to 6. Okay, so F4 is equal to F2 plus F3. Well, F2 we know is 2, that was given. F3 we just found, that's the 6 here. 8. Okay. F5 is equal to F3 plus F3. Four. F3 we know to be 6 here, F4 we know to be 8, and 6 plus 8 is <coughs> 14. Mental math. There you go.